Hey, this is Ryan Gordon. I'm going to give you a very, very fast rundown of what we're trying to do with the Dragon Ruby Game Toolkit to give you an idea. So when you first download it, this is what it looks like. Like all good programming examples, hello world is our first thing. So this is just a simple Ruby program, one function, three lines in it, which I'm about to show you. It's called main.rb. There you go. Now, as you make changes to this file, they will show up immediately in Dragon Ruby itself, so you don't have to save and re reload it and stuff. Just hello Ruby, boop, there you go, changes it immediately. So this is program is Ruby. Now we can make we can use standard Ruby functions like puts, but we supply a whole bunch of information like what the current tick count is, like the number of times we've run your function. And as you can see, there it is writing the standard out. Now that's pretty spammy, so we're going to turn that off. But we can take that information since that number increments every time we run, and we can use that. We can add an extra little argument here and do a modulo 360 to say the rotation of that picture. And there you go. Every frame is rotating a little bit. Now, as you can see in Dragon Ruby, each of these things that you draw is just a simple array. You don't need to know anything about rendering APIs or anything about the platform. You just hand it an array and it figures out what it wants to do. Now, we're going to make some very simple changes here so we can actually do something interactive with this. Um, right now, the sprite that's spinning is has a very has a static position, but we're going to change that. Uh, as you can see in Ruby, that or or equal thing says just if it's not initialized, do it. So we set it uh, set it to this. So we'll set that up once a frame, and we'll go. Uh, we'll check see if a mouse has been clicked. Now that's a bit wordy. And if it's been clicked, we're going to set those variables that we've prepared to the current mouse position. And take that wordy thing and add a little bit more. Give it a point x. And rather than type that, we'll just cut and paste that again. Y, there we go. Looks good. OK, and we're going to save this, and it'll update immediately. So now I should be able to just click, and oh, there it goes. Wherever I click, that's where our thing goes. Now, you basically have a full game now. So we're going to do one little thing here, just for our own benefit. There's a little bit of metadata, so you can tell the game some information about itself, and you can publish it. Now, I have already set up an account on itch.io for free. So I'm going to give it my login credentials here really quickly and give the game a name. I'm just going to call it Hello Dragon Ruby! Exclamation point! And just save that there. Now this is useful even if you're not using itch.io because next time you run this, there's our title bar with the title we just put in. So that's good there. Still works. Good. All right, let's publish this so all our friends can know that we are expert game developers. Uh, let me just copy these files in here we need real quick. Okay, and then we're going to just say one command here, Dragon Ruby publish my game, which is what the directory is called by default. And it packages up for a bunch of different platforms. And then it downloads some stuff for itch.io, and it uploads it to the account I've created beforehand, which only takes a minute, and it's free. And it's going to think about it. It's going to think about it a little more. And now we have all our platforms uploaded, so we can go in here and see on my own personal page which is very Spartan here. I only wanted was the files. You can put more on itch.io, but that's a different thing. And here's the thing, downloading it. This is the thing we just built and just uh, uploaded one second ago. And as you can see, Dragon Ruby made a nice little app bundle out of it. Let's give that a little launch. Yeah, yeah. And there you go. There's our app. And all your friends and families on Macs can uh, go ahead and download that and play it right away. But you know, I did say this was for a couple of different platforms, so let's see what this looks like on Linux. And there's a the thing we uploaded 41 seconds ago. There we go. 39 seconds ago. And we're going to save that. We're going to run that. And there is your program. Click, click, click. Running on Linux. But of course, you know, people for some reason still use Windows, so let's see if it works there too. And there we are. Let's see. Upload on Windows a few minutes ago at this point. Let's see, and then we should just be able to run this. And that's all there is to it. Ta-da, running on Windows. So that's all you need. All right, you've written a tiny little game. And you can make something much more complex, but we just wanted to give you a rough idea. So we hope you check this out. We hope you like it. We hope you build something fun and interesting and share it with all your friends. All right, that's it. Thank you very much.